Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I thought I would film um, this process. Uh, it's one of my friend's birthdays and I'm getting ready for it and I don't fully know what I'm going to wear yet. Um, I've done my hair, just slipped up in a high bun. I still need to do my makeup and I still need to pick my outfit, which I'm currently doing at the moment. So this is one of the options. I've just got some, I haven't got them up properly, thigh high boots. These are from Zara. This skirt is from And Other Stories. And this top, which is infamous on my Instagram at the moment, is from Collusion. This is one of the outfits, but I'm not 100% sure. I just feel like, to be fair, it's a lot on show. Um, but it's definitely an option. Those shoes are also an option, I'm not sure yet. This is outfit number two, which looks great actually on the camera because the boots kind of, actually you can see it in the light there, they're actually a navy, which is the reason I'm not so sure about this outfit because the top is black and obviously you get the little black spots on the skirt, which you can kind of get away with wearing the navy boots if the top isn't black, but the top is black in this, so it kind of makes the boots look a bit odd if the boots were black i'd really this is probably what i'd wear to be fair if the boots were black but they're not so and i quite like the boots with the skirt because it just gives me a little bit of coverage so it's not like too much out and i don't really want to take a jacket so i think if i have some thigh high boots at least it'll keep me a little bit warm but um yeah this is another outfit choice but i'm not i'm not so sure so this is outfit number three, which I'm actually really <laughs> quite like it. And I thought I had made my decision and that I was gonna wear the skirt, but actually I quite like this. It looks cute with the boots. And I'm thinking I have a brown belt, have a little brown backpack um, that I could just carry. And it'd be really cute with it up here. It's nice and I could do just like a really simple makeup with like a nice nude lip. Um, it's cute actually, it's quite cute. And it's freeing. I might wear this actually, I think this is a good idea. I have to change my underwear because I've got blue underwear on at the moment and you can kind of see through that. I'm just not sure about the brown belt with the boots. But I can't wear black because black and navy can be a bit of a hit and miss. I'm gonna grab the bag and see how it looks. So this is what I'm talking about with the bag. It's just like a nice brown backpack, which is just, I think it adds just a bit more of a casual element to it. And then obviously you can always sort of just have it on your shoulder, on your arm. It's definitely not the chicest of looks, but it's cute. Just um, casualizes, casualizes it. Is that even a word? Probably not a word, but fuck it. Like it casualizes the outfit up a bit more. Um, I do. Oh, the brown is throwing me off. I'm gonna try it with black. Fuck it. So this is with a little black belt, which kind of probably looks a lot better actually. She just makes me look really weird. I feel like it makes my body look really short, even though my body is really short, but because I can't have it like there, which is probably where the other one would end. So it has to be higher up so that it doesn't look weird against where the waistline of the dress is. Just looks like I've got a really short torso, right? try a different belt. So I changed the belt out for this little one that loops and it's not perfect but it's um it's the best of what I've got so I'm just gonna go with this one and yeah I think this is the outfit for sure. Looks cute, looks nice with the hair as well and I can just take like a nice little simple clutch or something like that. 
Let's just do uh, get my makeup done now. Hopefully that is an okay angle. Um, so I have been mixing my moisturizer with my foundation just because I've been getting like dry spots and I've got like a normal to combination I think skin I just have like a normal skin and sometimes get a bit of an oily t-zone I do get some dry spots like around my nose here but then it also can get oily so I I think it's like a, a normal combi skin I don't know um but uh, I've got the Glossier Priming Moisturiser and then I have been using the NYX Matte Stay matte but not flat, liquid foundation. Oil free, water based, full coverage. I personally don't think it is full coverage um, because I got dark eye, dark eyes. I do have dark eyes. I've got dark bags under my eyes, which I really struggle to cover up. And I don't think this foundation does that, but there we go. Um, I do also have like this color corrector. For like redness where's my eye thing uh... oh what the hell oh huh. right in front of me uh i've also got this from nyx but i think i've probably got the wrong color because this is light pale uh, and this is dark circle concealer and then this is like redness concealer because i get redness just around here on my nose so I usually start off by adding moisturizer to my face. Oh my god, I got it on my eyelash. Oh, I got it on my eyelash. Right, so now I'm gonna put this on my red spots. Make sure it's just like this. Got this little red spot here. Little one there, little one there. Oh. And then I'm gonna use Soft Focus Concealer Brush to just pat this into my eyes. I usually find, I don't know if this is with everyone else or if it's just because I don't actually know how to do makeup, but usually when I like make an effort like I'm doing right now, because obviously it's my friend's birthday so I kind of want to make a bit more of an effort I usually find that my makeup oh shit I'm just fuck oh well I usually find that my makeup just looks a lot worse like it just doesn't sit right and when I like try less and put less on it looks a bit better so like right now I'm trying to hide my bags which <laughs> I should probably just embrace because I mean, for God's sake, these things are just, they're too dark to try and hide anyway. I just look like I'm forever dead. Forever dead. That's fine. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix a little bit of foundation with a little bit of concealer on my hand. Probably the grossest thing ever, and you probably shouldn't do that, but that's just what I do. Got this little uh, flat top HD Kabuki brush. Mix it all together.
Sometimes I overestimate how much I need and like literally it's like a river on my face. And then other times I underestimate it and then it's just, the ratio isn't the same. This time, the ratio is totally off. Fuck. Just keep rubbing it around my face and hope for the best. <sighs> Does anybody else get tired during it? I don't know if it's because I like kind of hold my breath when I'm doing it and then I just get like really worn out. got like such a small forehead as well so it just tends to get it into my hair <laughs> which I'm sure everyone does actually because you need to go straight up into your hairline don't you so that's an invalid complaint do you see what I mean by my eyes like that literally did nothing my eyes are still dark still I'm just gonna go and wet my beauty blender. I'll be right back. So, this is obviously most unnecessary thing, but I like to just uh, pat my face after all that, just to triple, double, quadruple, make sure that there's no like brush streaks and that it's all just patted into my face. So I just put foundation on my nose because this is what I meant by like, when I said I can see like dry spots, it's doing it on my nose. It always does it on my fucking nose. It's like the most weirdest freaking thing ever. Like you know how your skin looks when you've been sunbathing and it's starting to peel? That's what it does. It, lo it looks like that. So I don't know why it does that. It's probably because I'm not paying my face my makeup on properly. But if someone could let me know, that would be great. I'd really appreciate that. Um, where's my mascara? Oh, it's got some mascara. You know what I'm gonna do with my face, with my eye, oh, sorry slamming everything um i'm probably just gonna do my eyeshadow real quick now i don't know like i've already said i don't know how to do makeup so i don't do anything crazy guys sorry i've got itchy face um, so i'm just gonna go with brown blue because my eyes are brown. And I think it looks nice. Do I need any other reason? No. I do personally. Just keep it simple, Lils. Just keep it simple and you will be fine. So I like to put it on the underneath as well. Because why not? Probably doesn't even look any different, but it does in person. Does anyone else do this as well? Like pull weird faces? I probably don't need to do it, but I just feel like it, it works more if I do. The NYX Born to Glow Highlighting Palette. And I usually go for like the goldy colour. That little gold one. And just pat it into the inside of my eyeball. Just to leave a bit. I'm going to put on mascara. I've got the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I really like it.
Ta da! Looks great, right? quickly go over my eyebrows in Glossier's Boy Brow. I have the colour in black, obviously, because look at my eyebrows, they're all black. I'm just going to put a little bit of blush, just a little bit. I've got the Too Faced Peach My Cheeks by Too Faced Melting Powder Blush. Infused with peach and sweet fig cream. It smells freaking great. Yeah, this is just the way that I put it on. I know it's weird. I also really, really wish that I had freckles. I really, really want freckles. And I have genuinely considered doing them with that henna. Like everyone's seen. I know I've seen the failed videos of it though, so I'm a little bit skeptical to do it, but I might just do it anyway because I think it's a really cute look and I wish I had freckles. I've got some freckles. I've got a couple freckles here, some on my nose here and a couple here, but I want more. I'm just going to slightly contour with some bronzer. Now I need to be careful with this because sometimes I go a little bit crazy and overboard. And um, as I was saying earlier, my forehead is really small, so I don't contour my forehead. I just kind of contour like this. And just under here. And I'm gonna just add a little bit on my nose. Because I do have a bit of a big nose. That is kind of makes sense to my shape of my face. I've got a big fucking head, so I have to have a big nose. Pretty much more, more or less done. What's the time? Yeah, I'm more or less done. Just gonna put a bit of highlight on my cheekbones. What one should I go for? I'm just gonna go for this little pinky, kind of pinky rosy one. Does anyone else really struggle to put highlighter on? Trust me. Get a smaller brush to apply a little bit of highlight on the tip of my nose. Probably just like the most dumbest get ready with me ever. But this is me genuinely getting ready. Like I literally have to leave in about 35 minutes. And I'm more or less ready to be fair. Just need to get back into the dress. I'm just doing a brush to do that. Preciseness. It's so easy to go overboard with highlighter, I think, in my personal opinion, just because it's just so shiny. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I fucked that eye up, fuck. Um, I add highlighter onto my forehead because once again, for the third time, it's small. So I highlight it to try and make it look a little bit bigger. I try and do it very subtly, so I kind of rub most of it off. Shining. Right, that is my makeup pretty much done. I just need to pick a lip colour now. Uh, I don't know which one to go for. So Urban Decay, when I went to go and get setting spray, gave me a little sample. 
one of their little samples. This colour is called, uh, pardon me, Naked Cream. So that's what I'm going to wear. I that itch. Today, it's kind of pinky. this uh, so itchy. Estee Lauder lip defying pencil in spice I've had this for a long time and I still have it because I barely wear makeup so yes I am putting lip liner on after I've just put lipstick on It does feel a little bit too pink for me. But I quite like it with this lip liner because the lip liner is a bit more brown. So I quite like adding the sort of depth. If that makes any sense. <laughs> okay, so that's my makeup done. Oh, what is that? I am just itchy today. And now I'm going to set this thing using the Urban Decay All Nighter. And that is pretty much my makeup. Oh, fuck. Um, this is the finished look, guys. I've got the boots. I'm taking my LV bag. Got the belt on with the dress. And my makeup is all done. This one is gross. <laughs> But yeah, that's the outfit, and that is my Get Ready With Me video. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy it, and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out. Uh, leave a comment down below because interaction would be great. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next week for another one. Thanks, bye.